and bipartisan. Not one of those criteria have been met today. Based on the facts, based on the evidence, based on the truth, this impeachment even fails that Pelosi test. Those now who say removing President Trump would protect the integrity of our democracy have it backwards. By removing a duly elected president on empty articles of impeachment, Congress will erode the public trust in our system of government. I understand you dislike the president, his beliefs, the way he governs, and even the people who voted for him. How do I know this? Because you say so day in and day out. In 2016, they even dismissed his supporters. Remember calling us deplorables? Now they are trying to disqualify our voice before the 2020 election. They want to undo the results of the last election to influence the next one. As I said, President Trump will still be president when this is all over. But Congress will have wasted months of time and taxpayers' dollars on impeachment rather than doing what America's people want us to do. It didn't have to be this way. Is this why we came here to serve? To trample on due process rights? To issue more subpoenas than laws? To appease the new Democrat socialist base? leadership. That is raw political politics and you know it. By refusing to acknowledge the truth or follow the facts, by substituting partisan animosity for real demonstration of innocence or guilt, and by continuing a three-year effort to undermine the president, this impeachment has divided this nation without any concern for the repercussions. Moreover, politicizing this process has discredited the United States House of Representatives and could forever weaken the remedy of impeachment. To again quote Professor Turley, it is the Democrats' rush to impeachment on these grounds with unfair procedures that is an abuse of power. History will write that. Madam Speaker, as I said at the beginning, we face a choice. Do you trust the wisdom of the people? Or do you deny them a say in their government? Fortunately, that the people will have the opportunity to speak up and render their verdict in 11 months to my fellow Americans. To my fellow Americans, if you prove of the way of this house has conducted their business. If you want to see your tax dollars go forward to endless investigations, support this impeachment. But if you want to restore a working Congress, like the previous Congress that listened to you and worked to bring the best economy in this country has ever seen, will be seen in its entirety after this debate is over. To get things done for you and your family, then join with us in rejecting this baseless impeachment. That's what's wonderful about this system of ours. We are a government of, by, and for the people. Always remember we work for you, not the other way around. Now, I will say this stronger and with more conviction than I have ever said it before. In this time of great trial and tribulation, may God bless America. I yield back.